What's up guys, this is Alberto and welcome back to my vlog. I still haven't come up with a name for this segment, so if you have any suggestions, I still am totally open to any good ideas. Anyways, let's jump straight into this since I did skip out on the vlog last week, but I have a good reason, so don't get too mad at me. First, I wanna catch us up with the Academy. Every day or every weekday, we train two times a day and during the weekend, we try to get a game in. We were able to get a game in this past weekend with a U19 squad, which was great. It's awesome to get the boys out and playing and showing the skill that the academy can put together. And I was able to get into the goal and finally play a full match. I didn't see the ball most of the game, but I will most likely upload the highlights to cover some mistakes that I made during the game and other areas that I was really happy with. Overall, it's awesome to get the guys out there and playing and for myself to finally get back into the goal and start playing in those scarier, harder situations. And on a very positive note, we were actually able to sign two of our players to a 5th division club and a 6th division club in the German leagues around here. So they're able to start working their way up. It's very awesome for the guys to finally start putting their foot in the door and to climb up the semi-professional ladder to get into professional football. Uh, you might have also seen my training session with some of the younger goalkeepers. I have been doing these sessions for quite a while now and I've met some amazing young talent and I will continue to try to post up our sessions and show you guys what it's like to be a American coach training and coaching in Germany. It's, it's really an awesome situation to be in and you get to see such amazing goalkeepers here. Uh, the guys are so young and they're so big. Most of these kids are already taller than I am and they're only 16 years old. Due to the hecticness of traveling, I wasn't able to check out some of the games this weekend, so I wanted to come to you guys and ask you if you had any questions for me about my life, about my goalkeeping style, or what's going on with me, and I will try to answer it. So the highest rated or the highest thumbed up question, I will try to answer. And I wanna surprise you guys, I'm actually in Korea. I decided to take a break and go out to South Korea to see the country and to really just go around. If I have any subscribers in South Korea, I was posting up on Instagram that I would be more than willing to meet up with everybody and to do a training session or to just meet up and talk. Um, right now, Korea is amazing. I've never been in Asia. This is the first time I did anything like this and I'm loving it. I love the food here the the culture is completely different and it's just uh it's it's crazy to be able to ju uh, jump on a plane and then maybe about after 19 hours of traveling land in seoul and then i took a train to uh daegu so right now i'm in daegu and uh, i love to walk around i've been seeing some uh, crazy stuff that I, I never see you know dogs and tutus and and the the traffic is kind of crazy but Everything's so freaking cool. Uh, I, I cannot stress how amazing it is to be here and to be traveling and doing what I love to do, which is playing soccer in a different country, meeting up with new people, eating new food, and, and just trying everything out. Everything is new right now. So I've been in Korea for about four or five days now. I'm not sure what the time difference is, about 13 hours of a difference with the US, so I'm almost a full day ahead of everybody. Uh, the only thing I've been doing so far is checking out all the food. This right here is shabu shabu. I'm really not sure how to explain it other than it's super tasty and it's an awesome way to make food. Um, in the next few days, I do hope to be going to an indoor soccer field and playing some indoor ball with the guys. I want to uh, play in field because I'm not very good at uh, indoor goalkeeper and I'm not looking to get injured before going back to Germany and playing again. But I do believe I have plans to be in Seoul next week. In Seoul, I heard there's a much bigger soccer scene and I do hope to get in some new gloves and try to buy a pair of gloves in one of the stores here and to kind of videotape one of the soccer stores and see if it's any different from the stores in the US or the stores in Germany. All I've been doing right now is just walking around though and, and kind of just seeing the differences, you know, checking out the Gatorade, eating any food that I could find and seeing the differences between, you know, American Oreo 
Oreos and Korean Oreos and American Powerade and Korean Powerade. Uh, not much of a difference. I actually like Korean Oreos more than I like the American Oreos. Well, hopefully in the next vlog, I'll be able to show you guys some actual footage of me playing in the field in Korea and show you what the Korean soccer style is like and how the guys are out there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, remember, ask your questions. The most thumbed up question is going to be answered. Hopefully, if it isn't anything too crazy. Uh, thank you guys again so much. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys again very soon.